We continue to hear from candidates tonight. We also want to check in with local Republican and Democratic chairs to see how they're feeling. Big Two's Jake Eichstead pulling double duty tonight, and he joins us again from the Doubletree Hotel in Midland. Jake. Tuesday is here for what is being called a Texas-sized election. Texas is one of 14 states with primaries today. We're extremely confident. People are excited. They're galvanized. The local Republican Party is voicing concerns about low turnout during early voting. They feel complacency could be an issue. It's just I think they're a little more comfortable this time. And I think, unfortunately, that confidence somewhat translates into being a bit lackadaisical. But if there is something to motivate them, to them, it feels impeachment has mobilized red voters more than anything. We have gotten people not only walking in the door here, but calling, and they're sometimes they just want to vent how frustrated they were, especially during the impeachment. Before it started, it was just as bad. People were frustrated. When is this going to be over? It hasn't even started. They're just talking about it. We need to get it done. And then it began, and they were no more happy then, but they were galvanized. On the side of the Democrats, they are most excited for the new wave of voters. The most exciting is we have so many newcomers um, as of late, and part of that is an influx um, in new people moving here. And the other part is the younger demographic. So you have kids 17, 18 that are just coming of age to register to vote. I've never seen such enthusiasm in my life. Looking at the presidential race, Democrats say voters shouldn't be thinking about who can beat Donald Trump, but rather vote for the candidate they feel is best for the country. I believe that it helps uh, motivate voters, uh, Democratic voters specifically, because they have so many options uh, for candidacy that they don't feel like they're being told who to vote for.